People ask about what camera equipment I use and what I take on holiday, so I thought I'd take this opportunity to show you my camera equipment. Okay, first up is this Panasonic LX10. Uh, this is my main like go-to vlog camera. If I was to give advice about one camera, if you go buy one camera, this would be it. Uh, this camera is it's small, uh, it does really good slow-mo, and it's got a really good lens, so it goes down to 1.4. So you can film pretty low light and also get that kind of cool blurry out bokeh buttery background. Okay, the only negative thing about the LX10 is battery life. Battery life kind of sucks, but you can buy loads of aftermarket batteries for super cheap, like two or three quid each. And you can get like chargers that will charge like four batteries at once. So yeah, I just have like five of these and that tends to last me most of the day. Okay, this is the GH5, this is the main camera body I use. It's an absolute beast of a camera. Micro Four Thirds, I love it. And I've got, on here on the top here, I've got a NATO rail, a top handle. This is the Rode Micro, mount it on top. Keeps it away from any noises from the camera a little bit. So yeah, three things I love about the GH5. There's loads of reviews online, so go check them out. But the three things I like is these batteries, last forever they're awesome like i will take out max of three batteries with this two is the recording formats that it does so it'll do full 4k really high 10 bit color 4k in 60 frames per second 180 frames per second in 1080p so you can get awesome really super slow-mo shots like seven times slower than normal one negative thing about this camera, and it's not really mentioned a lot, is data management. This thing eats through data, especially if you're using the highest and top uh, res solution stuff. Also, data management on your computer. If you're doing like loads and loads of videos, you are going to use up loads of data, so you'll need like lots of hard drives, and you'll need a pretty fast computer to edit 4K footage on as well. Also, you can't just Go put your memory card into your computer when you filmed in 4K 10 bit. You can't just open it up and view those images. You've got to put them into something like Premiere Pro to uh, look at it. So that's a bit annoying. I've also got this lens on it, which is my kind of go to lens I tend to use the most. It's a 12 to 35 mil. It's the version one, but it's still got image stabilization. This is awesome. So you can get kind of like close to your subject but still get it all in frame but you can also get kind of close up shots it's 2.8 so you can kind of get kind of shooting pretty good low light take three lenses with me uh, this lens which is pretty cheap 45 to 200 but it's really good for those close up shots f4 to 5.6 so it's not a constant aperture it's pretty cheap but it's really good I think it costs like 150 quid it's got image stabilization, which really helps, especially when using the GH5. I've got a really super cheap Prime lens, which is 28mm. Uh, I don't use this very often, but new cameras are super sharp. So sometimes it's nice not to have a sharp image and use a vintage lens. This is super old. I bought this for £2.50 and an adapter, which is a micro four thirds adapter. Put it on. Uh, the great thing about GH5, you can pretty much adapt any vintage lens, so you can pick up a really nice set of lenses for super cheap, second hand, eBay, don't have to spend money, and it's really cool. This goes down to f.2.8, so it's pretty good in low light. ND filters, ND16, ND8, and variable ND filter. These are great, they're alright if you have to, uh, quite good for time lapses. I've also got an adapter for my LX10, so I can put ND filters on there. I'll put a link to, uh, in the description about those adapters, really useful. Next I have a slider. Uh, this is a tiny, tiny slider. It's made by somebody called ProAim, and it's called a Wigo. 
but it's basically a copy of the Elka Chrome uh, slider one. Uh, it's just cheap, I think it was like 70 quid, but it's ace. It just gives you that little bit of cool, but a little bit of movement. Super cheap. I put a little Manfrotto uh, bracket on the top, quick release bracket on the top, so I can quickly put my camera on there. Put it on a tripod, got a base plate there. And I just get a few nice, slidey, arty shots. Got a drone. I have the Mavic Pro. Amazing drone. It's quite old now, but it folds down really small. Yeah, it doesn't take much room in the bag. Loads of reviews about this. I like it just because it's small. Uh, ND filter on it. Really important to have an ND filter. I have an ND16, especially when you're shooting in daylight for some reason. It gets really bright, so really important to have an ND filter. You can pick up these super cheap online. I have the controller with it as well. Again, super small. Put your phone in there. Ace. I've got a strap. And on my cameras, I have... I have these things, these little, uh, so it quickly pops on, and actually it's really useful to use it almost like a bit of image stabilisation, so pull it against your neck and you can get like quite smooth shots like that, so really useful to have, also just to carry about, bendy tripod, use it loads with this camera here. This is super light, this is tiny, I think this is like one of the smaller Joby tripods with a full mount head. Really good, quick release. You can put it in kind of, get it really balanced, get it straight, put it on funky areas. It's pretty good, like it. Also you can do use it as a bit of a, like a selfie pod thing. Talk to camera, get a bit of distance away. It's good. Uh, I've got a camera holder iPhones are pretty good for doing time lapses, so sometimes I will put that on here, pop your phone in, you can do a time lapse, well good. Got a little SD card holder here, there's no SD cards in the moment as are in my cameras, but yeah, useful to have. Headphones for listening to audio, especially on the GH5. Uh, I've got a magic arm as well, this is really useful. Uh, you can mount different things to your camera, different things, clamps on things, really useful just to have. And then I have this day bag here, which is a crimpler, crimpler day bag, really good, bulletproof, opens up, lots of space, yeah, lots of little compartments. Finally is this tripod, pretty simple tripod, it's a Manfrotto, pretty old, 701 head, adapted to a Velbin or something, it's carbon fibre, so it's super light. Nothing particularly special about this. So, uh, the, uh, Manfrotto make really nice tripods, so I recommend it. It's, you know, it's good for panning. I like the base plate system on Manfrotto, so I can quickly change things in and off. So yeah. Hope you enjoyed that video. I will try and put a link to all the equipment I've used below in the description below. If you've got any questions for me? Put them in the comments, and I'll try and answer them. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.